I'm at a low point, really low point. Can't talk about what I'm going through with my closest mother and sister who were not able to resonate. Of course, I don't want to reveal it to my students. Shame yeah. on me. Hey. Then comes this, I would say, a magical period started in my life. And the magic was not in that I went back to my old self, which I wanted to be, to be happy, be positive, be strong self, which I don't think I will ever return to. I know that now. That was not the magic. But the magic was the synchronistic things that started happening Mm -hmm. one after another, one teacher, one teaching, one insight, one book, one workshop, a string of things that happened. And I was just following the breadcrumbs at every step. And Okay, so the dream that I had, which is, you know, integral to my whole journey in which I began to, for the first time, get an idea that inside of us, we have stories from our past that need to be retold. Which again, most people do not recognize or are even aware that they live within and that they are actually continuing to feed us messages and stories that are not serving us. You had this dream. Talk about synchronicity. So Rama, you were meeting a dream interpreter. I was going to meet a dream interpreter. And the night before I am to meet her, I have this dream. I made the appointment with her because I've been having some strange dreams. Some strange creatures would come. There were some weird things. And I thought, oh, I need to make an appointment with her. And I did not even know there was something like a dream interpreter. Or I would have gone myself. She came to my studio to meet someone. That's so crazy. And so this lady introduces me and I go, dream interpretation. What's that? Okay, fine. You know what? I'm having some strange dreams. Let's make an appointment and talk about it. And that lady is very busy. So she gives me some three weeks or four weeks. And then I put it out of my mind. And the night before, I'm thinking the next day, oh, tomorrow I have this appointment. I should talk to her about that dream in which I saw a snake running up there. And then that night I had the dream. Don't you think your soul knew? My soul knew so much more. When I think back now to what our soul knows, but what our ego denies. Ah. Uh. So true. Another line. Yeah. <laughs> Another good one. Oh, no, the <laughs> ego fights. <laughs> so true. Okay. So now you go to her. Yeah. Talk about this dream. And then she tells me about the inner child. And I have never heard about this before. She starts off a conversation and she says, you've got to now do this. And I ask her, why don't you just tell me what to do? And she says, I can't because this is between you and your inner child. And also she said, I don't know. And she said, you have a studio. You are already leading all these women and you are having such an intense experience. I don't know why your soul has called this in for yourself and for the women you're leading. Yeah. Wow. And she said, I should not be telling you what to do because this is really much bigger than I want to comment on. Wow. So what did you do with that? Yeah. So then I came back and as I say in my book, one day at a time, and then I started to really imagine the person who had come in my dream. And this is how I tell others to do. I say, inside of you, there is a younger version of you who got lost in translating to adulthood and is seeking in midlife to be retrieved and resurrected. Yeah.